I get asked a lot what species are best for beginners. People see just how cool having a pet mantis looks, but aren't sure what species would be best for someone just starting out. We'll be looking at hardy species with low requirements that are easy to care for, don't mind room temperature, and friendly and safe to handle. Specifically outgoing species that will stock prey, move around, and will freely walk onto your hand. I love keeping mantis. With their upright posture and habit to wave and point their forelegs, they're like little dudes or fairies you can keep in your house. I dig them. So here's the top 5 pet praying mantis species for beginners. The Chinese mantis is the most common species you'll see on earth. As among the larger and hardier species, it's been exported all over as a way to keep pests off of plants and crops. That means it's easy to get in the pet trade, and depending on where you live, you can even buy an ooth from a local garden supply store and hatch your own, keeping just a few for yourself and letting the others go outside. It's a human-friendly, curious species, and it's easy to train and handle. They'll eat a wide range of feeder insects and love honey as a treat. This species is also famous as the inspiration for both forms of mantis kung fu, the northern mantis style and the southern mantis style. The giant Asian mantis looks like a supersized version of your average mantis and comes in a wide array of colors from golden yellow to turquoise blue. They're big and friendly and like the Chinese mantis, accept a wide range of temperatures and feeder insects. This is a great species if you want something that looks like a classic mantis, but it's a bit bigger and more colorful and easy to handle. This species comes in colors that are more of a mottled yellow to pink and gray. It's called a budwing mantis because the wings are too small on the females for them to fly. Although mantis rarely fly, having a species that can't means they're much easier to handle. This is another easy to care for species that's outgoing and will interact with you, sometimes showing off their dimatic display, and handling is very easy. Like the others on this list, this species is voracious and will eat anything. Be careful with overfeeding because they'll keep eating even until they're sick. Alright, it's hurting. Ah. Just like the giant Asian, this species is big, outgoing, and fun to own. They're not skittish, and you can watch them hunt down food, feed them by hand, or have them walk on your hand and train them to do tricks. The most basic trick is the hand over hand, where you get them accustomed to walking on your hands, moving one in front of the other as they go. As adults, when they sprout wings, you can move your hands further and further apart, and they'll bridge that gap by flying. It's a really cool trick to show friends. Ghosts are much smaller than the other species on this list, but as my first species, they're among my absolute favorite. Unlike the other species that look more like classic mantis, the ghosts have a leaf-like camouflage that makes them incredibly interesting to look at. They also are the most likely species to dance, as they pretend to be a leaf in the breeze. I suggest this species for anyone who wants to own something a little different. They're okay with a wide range of near room temperature, but like it a little warmer. And unlike the other species, this one does require higher humidity, so you'll have to give them a few squirts of a spray bottle into their habitat once every day or two depending on the humidity in your home. Don't be afraid to try other species if they're available. What you're able to find is constantly changing depending on the season and what small independent breeders have been able to hatch. I suggest starting with a baby and raising it yourself. You're looking for L2 or L3, which is going to be very tiny, um, but you get to watch them molt and grow to adulthood yourself. When they're that small, you can feed them flightless fruit flies, which are super tiny and are easy to keep on hand in a culture by themselves. You can usually order your pet mantis and the flightless fruit flies together from breeders you can find online and have it overnighted to you to make sure they arrive safely. It's a super easy process and I think really rewarding is a very cool, unique pet. So if you decide to go for it, good luck with your first mantis. I hope you like them as much as I do. Please like and subscribe and leave any questions you have for me in the comments. Thank you guys so much.